Hello everyone. Hi. Welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Uh, watch the video till the end. And also, if you are new to this channel, then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon. Friends, today we are going to learn a concept which is known as retention ratio formula. Retention ratio is 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 opposite to your uh, payout ratio. It's it's more related to your dividend. So you in, in case of the retention retention ratio you plow back your dividends to to your company's maximization of the shareholders wealth let's see the formula over here retention ratio formula says something like this your retained earnings that's your reserves divided by your net income so retention ratio formula it basically indicates that the percentage of a company's earning which is not paid in, not paid out as dividend but it is credited back to the retained earnings so this is basically your retention ratios a uh, clear explanation you can say that so again uh, in case of the formula it goes something like this retention ratio is equal to your retained earnings divided by net income now retention ratio can also be found as i told you it's opposite of uh, the payout ratio so whatever after paying off you save is your is is what you retain as simple as that so 1 minus the payout ratio or you can say 1 minus the dividend payout ratio is going to be your retention ratio so this is this are the particular met methods that by which you can calculate your retention ratio let's take an example of retention ratio formula let's look into some of the example for easy understanding let's say assuming there's a company called z which has reported its earning per share at $100 and decided to pay $5 as as in in dividends so we can say $5 has been paid as dividends with the above formula the dividend payout ratio that is the D dps the dividend payout ratio dpr you can say is equal to whatever amount you pay as dividend which is 5 divided by your eps dividend payout that's your 100 so it's it's closely standing at 5% okay so this means that company z is distributed 5% of its income in its dividend and reinvested back into the company as the rest of the money was plowed back in the company so you can say that the amount of payment over here you can say that is equal to 1 minus your uh, payout ratio is going to be your retention ratio so i'm going to take another example for comparison of two companies for improvised understanding now let's say there is a company x and there is company y now we have data for eps of both the years let's say 8.5 over here for company x and 10.5 per for company y then they are being paid as dividend dividend that has been paid so let's say for x it is 4 for y it is 3 and industry they belong to which industry here it's of utilities and the y is a tech company the net cash flow in both the scenario the net cash flow from investing activity is going to be over here it's positive and in case of y it is negative so the retention ratio over here for company x and y is going to be something like this it's your dividend divided by your earning per share you do control r and make it a percentage so 47% is the retention ratio of okay so this is dividend that has been paid so this is not your retention ratio this is your payout ratio because that is the amount of the dividend that has been paid out from your uh, eps and your retention ratio is going to be 
is equal to 1 minus 47 percent control R. So the plowback of company X suggests that they have been struggling to find any profitable opportunities. Perhaps the firm does not have many opportunities at the moment and thus will be distributing a reasonable portion of their earnings as dividend. This could also be a temporary tactic to keep a current low, current lot of shareholders satisfied and enhance the stock price for the immediate future. If you see with respect to why, uh, you can say there is a higher level of retention ratio and uh, there is negative uh, cash flow which highlights the fact that you know they have been heavily been you know been involved in in saving more and you know using less cash flows but still it is negative cash flows over here now let's understand the explanation of the retention ratio formula see this ratio highlights that you know how much the profit uh, is being is being retained as profits towards the development of the firm and how much it is getting distributed as as dividends to the shareholders so you can say the size of the plowback ratio will attract the different types of customers and investors investor which are income oriented would expect you can say a lower plowback ratio as this suggests that higher dividend possibilities to the shareholders there are another kind of shareholder which are known as the growth oriented shareholders uh, investor will prefer a high plowback ratio implying that the business or firm has profitable internal usage of its earnings this in turn basically will, will push up the stock prices now if the you can say if the plowback ratio if this is let's say zero percent there is a greater possibility of the firm being unable to maintain its existing level of dividends distributed since since it is distributing all its return back to its investor, thus sufficient cash is not available to support the capital requirement for the business. So, so in this graph of Amazon, Colgate and Alphabet, retention ratio data is available. You can see of Amazon and Google, they are standing right at 100% retention or basically the plowback ratio. In case of Colgate, it's 38.22%. So Amazon, Google have retention they are like you know completely retaining all the amounts of, of the profit for reinvestment and Colgate's ratio is 38.22 in 2016 so this is how companies may decide based on their investment strategies based on their uh, long-term strategies and they decide how much to retain and how much to basically invest now what is exactly the use of the retention ratio formula see some of the use of the retention ratio formula is that you know it is very easy to calculate and suitable for a ballpark comparison amongst the firms and the sectors you can see that now second the ratio can work in tandem with the dividend payout ratio to plan the future ideas of the firm Retention ratio formula is really useful because that's how you make out that you know how much the company is really earning and out of that how much it's it's saving from that. Now this is your retention ratio formula calculator. You can punch in some numbers and you'll get really good answers out of that. Let's say you are retaining a million dollar of your net income which is standing at 10 million dollars. So your retention ratio formula is 10 percent. Now if your retain earnings drop down to 9 lakh dollars it goes to 9 percent and if you change this to 1.1 million then it goes to 11 percent so what we analyze is that keeping the dividend per share as we saw over here in the formula the retained earnings so how much you are retaining so keeping your retained earnings basically over here and your net income over here this will be same everywhere so your retention ratio will be something like this this is same if your retain earnings are increasing then your ratio will also be will be increasing but if this is decreasing then your retention ratio will also decrease so you can say there is a direct relationship between your retention or retained earnings and the retention ratio i hope you have got really a good insight regarding the retention ratio formula so that's it uh, for this particular topic if you have learned and enjoyed watching this video please like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates thank you everyone cheers